ready to party because we are chlorophyll with sick beats isn't that right party p that's right you forgot your accent yeah 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 technically have to be watching you know you know they, they could just you know come into the room but does that really count what are you talking about I, okay I'm saying do you have to be watching the show with your eyes to say you are watching the show what y yes why what are you okay, okay 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 let's say your mom is folding laundry but she also has the astonishing race on TV now, she never looks up from the laundry and even leaves the room every now and then. So is she watching? I say no, so it's okay for me to change the channel. Okay, but I bet your mom would say yes and you should leave the channel where it is. Just because your mom's eyes may not be taking in the show doesn't mean she isn't observing the show with her ears. Well said. Yeah. Well, in that case, thanks for watching, listening to, or in general, observing the so-and-so show. Yeah, I'm glad we cleared it. I am too. Uh, this week we are talking about seeing 
or observing joy all around us. So oh. I thought we could hear from someone who's good at taking in those observations and turning them into something joyful and memorable. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey. 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 Come on in, have a seat. Oh, right there, buddy. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? <laughs> My name is Quinn Kurt. I am a commercial jingle writer and owner of Quintessential Music, LLC. Ah, so you write those awesome little songs that are in commercials that you can't seem to get out of your head no matter how hard you try and keep you awake at night because of their mind-numbing catchiness and overall haunting qualities leading to insomnia and sometimes irrational thoughts. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> Cool. So we know that you are really good at what you do and, and that your jingles can help people find joy in everyday objects. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I try. Okay, good. So I thought that it might be fun if we picked some stuff from around here, oh. stuff that surrounds us every day, and see if you can find the joy in that. Oh, oh well, I, I'm sure give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, I'm going to look for something first, okay? okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, here you, you go. Is that your lunchbox? Yep, can't get more every day than that. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I, that's my oh. tuna fish and Lindberger cheese sandwich. It's it's a little strong. A little? I mm. think I have an idea. What? <laughs> you seem so simple and so plain, yet every child knows your name. What's inside, no one can tell. And even though you sometimes smell, everyone will stand and yell because you're awesome! Oh, wow. you know what? My lunchbox is awesome. <laughs> and it's not your fault I put a stinky sandwich in you. It's not your fault I love you. <laughs> lunchbox, I love you. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move on. Um, oh, how about well, he's bringing it. this? I like it, a flat basketball jingle. I like it. OK, I think I have it. What? That was fast. <laughs> You're round, you're rubber, you're quite all round. You bounce, you dribble, you're lots of fun. And if you're flat, no problem, because... You're awesome! Whoa! <laughs> what? And that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, 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 hey, try this one, try this one. I got one. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, woo! Try to find joy in this. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> you're smelly, you're green, you're never clean. You look just like a giant bean. You make John's mother yell and scream because you're awesome! <laughs> How do you do that? I don't know. I just think that the world is an amazing place. Anyone can see the joy in things if they really look for it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, let me try. Let me try. Can I try? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Are you sure? Let, yeah, let me look around right. for something uh, new. <laughs> what? Aha, look at this guy. Yes, oh, yeah. this is oh. perfect. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Play me in, Quinn. Ready? Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Got it. That's it. You're yellow with wings. You sometimes like to sing. <laughs> because you're, you're awesome. awesome. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kelly. Quinn sure seemed to get what we were talking about this month. Because... He's awesome. We get it. You got a story for us today, Kellen? Why don't you ever tell me a story? Oh, uh, I don't... I mean... I'm kidding. Of course I have a story. It's what I do. Today's Bible story is from the book of Psalms. Actually, Psalms is another word for songs. So we're going to look at three different songs today, all written by David. 
and you might remember David, who defeated a giant and then became king. That David was also a really good psalm writer. And speaking of songwriters, I am apparently being interrupted. I thought you could sneak one over on us, didn't you, Kellen? You're doing a show about songs, and you're trying to leave me, Melv Solomon, and my brother-in-law Greg off the show? Greg is torn up about it. Just look at his face. It's just pitiful. I was not trying to leave you off the show. I'm actually really glad you're here. I think your thoughts as musicians will be very helpful. Oh. All right, see, you made Greg happy. And while you're looking cheerful again, Greg, why don't you tickle those ivories? Hit it! Glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow-by-blow blow of the Bible story on the Mel Solomon Story Recap. Thank you. Thank you. You just do your thing, Kellen, and Greg and I will add some sporadic but much-needed musical support and insight. I wear contact lenses. That's great, Greg. Back to you. Um, right. So before David was king, he was a shepherd. And he would look around at God's creation and be amazed. So David wrote this psalm trying to put that amazement into words. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in the whole earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. I think about the heavens. I think about what your fingers have created. I think about the moon and stars that you have set in place. Just imagine David out on the field at night, looking up into the sky at the stars and the moon. Have you ever done that? Oh, we have got the perfect song for that one, don't we, Greg? Greg. Greg. Greg! Yeah, the jumping cow. <laughs> you stayed up too late watching the moon again, Greg. Yeah, I did. Play the song. Okay. That's the one. Moonbeams, nothing more than moonbeams. Give me those moonbeams shining down on me. Sun rays, no one needs those sun rays. Put on that SPF 100 so you won't be a French fry. Back to you, Kellen. Yes, David was blown away by the beauty of God's creation around him. Sometimes we can find joy just by looking up. Here's another psalm. David wrote, The heavens tell about the glory of God. The skies show that his hands created them. Day after day, they speak about it. Night after night, they make it known. The sun is like a great runner who takes delight in running a race. It rises at one end of the heavens. Then it moves across to the other end. Everything enjoys its warmth. So it wasn't just the moon and the stars. David found joy in God's creation in the daytime as well. Oh boy, do I get that. I got a song that reminds me of how the sun rises every morning. Hey, do you remember when we used to sleep outside in tents, Greg, back on our first tour? Greg. Greg. Greg! <laughs> it's Tour de France. It's the wrong tour, Greg. Play the song I'm thinking of. Oh. Now you've got it. Intense again, intense. We camped again, intense. I couldn't sleep at all last night. The stars were bright. It was quite a sight. Intense again, intense. The smell is so intense. I think there's a cow outside our tent. Back to you, Kellen. Uh, yes. Seeing, hearing, and even smelling the world around us are incredible ways to find joy in God's creation. But check this out. Let's go back to Psalm 8. David wrote this to God. What are human beings that you think about them? What is a son of man that you take care of him? You have made them a little lower than the angels. You placed on them a crown of glory and honor. You made human beings rule over everything 
your hands created. David also found joy in the people God created. We know a thing or two about people, don't we, Greg? 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 I'm awake. Oh, so you are. Play the song. Okay. People are great when they're not being mean. People are groovy, so when they've had too much caffeine, there's always someone out there to lend a helping hand. Unless you're by yourself, then I guess you're stranded. You see, we know people. Back to you. Okay, one last psalm. David wrote, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. He is at my right hand, so I will always be secure. So my heart is glad. Joy is on my tongue. You always show me the path of life. You will fill me with joy when I am with you. The joy that comes from God is all around us, even inside us. Sometimes we have to look for it a little harder, but even in tough times, we know that God is with us. This calls for a wrap up. Craig. Boom, chick, boom, boom, chick, boom, boom, chick, boom. Not that chick, kind of wrap up. Yeah. That's it. Sing along, Gregory. I could look up at the sun and I'd find you. Joy. I could glance at crowds of people and I'd find you. Joy. I could contemplate the universe and all that God has made. And I'd find you. Just beautiful, Greg. Just beautiful. The whispering was a little weird, but I liked it. I liked it as well. Thank you. And it definitely brought me some joy. Thanks, guys. Anytime. Hey, just give our agent a call. I don't have an agent. I know, Greg. I know. No matter what else is going on in our lives, there's always joy to be found. Just like Quinn and his commercial jingles. Oh, and David with his psalm jingle. Yep. We should remember that God can be found all over the place. And when God is there, you can find joy there as well. I think it's always good to have the reminder that God is with us no matter what. Hey, thanks. No problem. Until next time. See you later. I don't know about you, but I feel more joyful already. Yeah, and I feel like singing. Let me the question. When is it hard to find joy? Yeah, it's hard for me to find joy when I've made a mistake. Or when I know that I've hurt someone's feelings. Yeah, it can be really hard to find joy when, well, when you lose someone, whether they move away or, or pass away. Mm -hmm. I also think that when you forget that God is with you, things can become overwhelming and, and joy can be hard to find. Yeah, that happens to all of us. But, but that's just the thing. God is always with us and joy is all around us too, if we look for it. Yeah. Talk about it together. When is it hard to find joy? And we'll see you next time for a brand new show. Bye see everyone. Okay, now you can sing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Reveal hard. the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do this, this puzzle cube here. Uh, okay, pitch, right. it, pitch it, pitch it. Huh? Uh, All right, here wow, we go. Wow. <laughs> You're red and yellow and green and blue. You're hard to solve, that part is true. But if I'm stuck and losing, cool, I'll switch your stickers. I'm not a fool yeah. because you're awesome! You're awesome! You're awesome. <laughs> that was great. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> you're, awesome. you're obviously not a real product. We cut out a picture and put it on it. Look at it shake its head saying yes because it knows that John is the best because you're awesome! <laughs>